you know, as I, um, on my drive and I have a couple videos I want to work on that I haven't edited yet and uh, one was about the Star Wars with the Ray movie. I saw the trailer yesterday, I think it was yesterday or yeah it was yesterday, to this Masters of the Universe Revolution and just, um, you know, dealing with it, what I... Admittedly, did the trailer look good? Yeah, but so did the other one. I'm hoping, and this is me random, I'm not doing a breakdown. I Admittedly, there was even a little bit of a interested excitement. Uh, I saw Gwildor from the live action Cans movie that I enjoy so much. And uh, I, I, I mean, maybe that, that other He-Man, that like leaner, taller one, that might have been Dolph Lundgren's He-Man. Maybe they're doing a cross the multiverse. I, I don't know. However, with Kevin Smith's revelation on how he's ego tripping and he's an industry shield like the rest of them, even though he kept constantly saying he was like a geek like us. But when the chips were down, something got called out. And instead of facing it, he did some weird tweet where he was like, I'm just going to drop this and I talk about it. And... I just feel like I hope it's not, but I feel like it's gonna be more of the same. Animation's fine. I know it has a little bit. It's supposed to have a little bit more action to it. Uh, this one hopefully is actually about you know He-Man um, as well, and not another bait and switch. Which yes, 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 because there's people that yeah, there's always that one person that tries to bring it up. Yes, he said it at one con where like a thousand people on YouTube saw it when someone even sent it to me. That doesn't mean anything. He promoted it and pushed it where and, and said multiple times, oh, it's He-Man. It's all about He-Man. It's He-Man, 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 He-Man. When you really wanted to be about Teela, like I saw the green goddess uh, thing with the snake. Um, I have my Teela toy. Uh, which was really cool. Uh, she had the snake thing. Mine was uh, brown, but I have seen a green one. Um, it's just one of those things, like, you know, you got a good voice cat, uh, Keith David, who I always think is awesome. William Shatner, Melissa Benoist, which, you know, that's her husband that plays the He-Man voice. So, it's, there's a lot that could go for it if they do it right. I'm just hoping that they have the understanding and I'm hoping that they took notes from before because I noticed the engagement was a lot lower um this like when I was looking to see people talking and also here's the thing too listen you don't need to go on every single so I, I saw it off of uh uh, YouTube channel rapid trailer and I saw it on another one and there's constantly people in there I don't understand how these people didn't like it this was amazing this is the best super he man ever this is the best of the best I'm like don't do that because what you're doing is you're it sounds like you're kind of um you're trying to defend something because you know it's bad you're allowed to like terrible things you are allowed to like garbage I think X-Men Origins Wolverine is a great fun movie I know it's a bad movie in so many ways, but I like that movie better than most films. Uh, most of the uh, superhero films, especially, I'm talking more like the recent. All of Phase 4, I think, except for like a movie here or there, I think uh, X-Men Origins Wolverine is better than all of them. But people will look at me and go, well, it's a bad movie. Whatever. I think it's better. I get more enjoyment out of that movie than pretty much all of Phase 4. Shang-Chi, all of them. I think, hands down, X-Men Origins Wolverine is, like, above and beyond better than all those films. It happens. We all like bad things or, as they call them, guilty pleasures. So, the way I see this is, I'm, hopeless, I'm hopefully optimistic. I feel like it's going to be more of the same. But now it's going to be about Adam, but from a weak point of view, like when they were kind of trying to make him weak or whatever. So we'll see how this pans out. Uh, I like the idea of Hordak. I know some people were questioning about she Maybe she will show up. That'd be interesting. But I'm just hoping that they learned a few of the lessons and kind of focus and really try to tell a story. I'm, I'm actually going to try to see if I can give it a shot. 
I didn't know if I was going to watch uh, Revelations because uh, or Revolution because Revelations really annoyed me. The second half I did review was better than the first half, though. Um, so for what it's worth, it did have an improvement. But just between the whole thing. And the idea with Skeletor and that, that seems interesting. But now I, I am a little leery because I'm hearing about him like, I got to give up the power. And I'm like, eh, you don't like being human all the time. And your preferred version of you as from the established in the first season is you. Where everyone else was He-Man or their He-Man version counterpart. So why is it now you're having a problem with the power? But then again, why does he need to lose the power? And, and I'm like, are you guys setting this up to give another person the power? Tila's friend, maybe. So these are the kind of thoughts that go in my head just because of how ridiculous some of it was. Um, and I'm not usually a person that is big on calling things baiting. But like the there was some queer baiting, it felt like, with Tila and stuff. So and then they, like, it felt like they kind of like 180'd. It is... I'm hoping that this time around it's a little bit more smooth. They kind of know what they're doing. Um, they get there and they really honestly figure it out. This one's not a fancy you know, video. Like I usually, I may throw some images up, who knows. But o overall, I'm like, I just kind of had it on my brain and I want to get it out. Where are the things I liked? And admittedly, I did get a little excited to see Gwildor. And seeing that other one, I'm like, wait. Because I saw He-Man, I thought I was like, oh, he's a little leaner. And I was like, wait, that looks like Dolph Lundgren. A little bit. So, if they're doing some stuff like that, that's awesome. Um, I just hope they give us a really good story and they just kind of stop with all of the the, the politicky, uh, wokey stuff, the the, bait, the the lying and everything. Give us a story about He Man. Give us a story about the Master Universe, and let's see where this goes. And I know some people are like, oh, you know, we're woke. Well, when it's woke, it's woke. I mean, a word, that's why words are used, because words mean things. So, sorry. Not sorry. Um, so, we'll see. I think I'm, I'm going to try to cut out a little time. I mean, I still got to catch up on Monarch. I got other things ahead of it, but I, I still haven't even done my Captain Laser Hawk review. And I keep meaning to do it. So, we'll see. But right now, uh, it looked good, but like I said, so did the first trailer. I'm hoping, hoping this is better than the first uh, re re uh, revela revelations. Like, I'm hoping revolution goes back to form, back to basics, and progresses the story forward. Because they've already done some requel stuff, which still throws me off. So, no more swapping, no more stuff. Just tell us an awesome story. And let's see how it goes. But you tell me what you think, uh, trailer. But I did notice a lot less people were engaged compared to the first one. And the people that were, a lot of them were like just pushing. Uh, it was awesome. And then even some people in there was like, because the people were like, this is the definitive He-Man. Um, this is the definitive version of Skeletor, which me and many people were like, no, the 2001 was. 2001's better. You, I'm sorry, y'all y'all can fight it. That's just the way it is. The 2001 is probably the best version of He-Man uh, they've done throughout all the cartoons. And it seems like other people feel the same way. So, we'll see. Um, I don't like some of the changes that they made. Um, especially supposed, since this is supposed to be a sequel series. You know? Um, so, changing races and stuff kind of annoys me. I know they have requels too, but I don't care. That annoys me. But overall, we'll see. Tell me what you think. Um, I'm hope. I'm I'm hoping it's better, but I feel like we're gonna get more of the same. Uh, especially the way Kevin Smith even's coming off with the ego. Um, he lost a lot of uh, his geek cred. Pretty much practically all of it doing what he did. Uh, especially with the confidence thing, because he never apologized to them for dragging their names through the mud and admitting later that he did that to manipulate stuff and all of the comic book dot coms and all of them that rode with them. You're all jerks and proves why you shouldn't be employed uh, doing that job. 
because you don't report the things you're trying to uh, add gasoline to the uh, culture war fire instead of just telling it like it is. He lied. He dragged people through the mud. He did he tried to do character assass assassinations. So, geek protagonist, you stay safe, you stay healthy, you stay real. Tell me what you think. Like I said, I'm just kind of driving out in the bound. It's on my mind, and I want to get it out before I forget. So, you know, no fancy wancy whatever. Um, I still haven't even watched Rebel Moon yet, and and I'm a Zack Snyder fan. So that's to tell you something. I, I've been very busy doing other stuff. I've been working a lot. My schedule's been kind of all over the place. So I haven't had the time to sit down. I mean, I, I haven't even had the time to read my comics like I want to, to do the reviews and stuff. So I'm going to try to work on all these things. But lots going on right now. That's why I'm kind of sporadic. Um, and thank you, everybody who joined uh, my channel. Um, also, too, with the Doctor Who thing and stuff. So I appreciate you very much. All right, uh, I've let this drag on long enough. Geek protagonist, you stay safe, you stay healthy, stay real, and I'll see you.